This is not a makeup channel, obviously. Hello Bibliophiles, my name is Jill. I am on vacation and I thought I would do um, a video I've seen, not a video, but I've seen pictures of people who recreate book covers with makeup on their faces and I thought um, that would be a fun thing to do. So I thought I would do that while I'm doing the, what is the tag called? The booktube about me tag. Since I have um, way more subscribers than I had, uh, I don't even know, like six months ago. Hello everyone, welcome. I thought I'd do the about me tag and do this makeup look. Um, I used to work in makeup. I love makeup. I love colorful makeup. But I'm not um, by any means a professional makeup artist, so this is going to be an adventure for all of us. Um, so <laughs> um, I just thought it'd be some fun, and since I'm on vacation, why not? Let's have some fun while we can with some colorful makeup. So I have some like fun stuff here. Um, the, oh, but the cover I'm going to do is, of course, my favorite cover maybe ever, Barreling Forward by Eva Crocker. Quack, quack, crocker. Um, I love this color scheme is what I like the most about it. I'm gonna try, I was originally gonna do try like do like waves all over my face but that's not gonna happen. I'm not nearly that skilled but I'm gonna try to do this color scheme um, and see what I can <laughs> pull together uh, from this from this cover but this is what I'm gonna try to do today while I'm also um, doing the about me tag. Also it is something like uh, like 30 degrees or something in here today um, sh can I open this? Let's just, let's see what, how noisy it'll be if I open this. Ooh, she's a nice cool breeze. There's some nice bird sounds. Let's just leave it open for now. Oh, my cat is now outside. I'll keep an eye on that too, good lord. Also, hello, welcome to my no makeup, no glasses face. We stay in. I'm gonna tell you what makeup products I'm using, um, in case you care. This is not a makeup channel, obviously. Um, but you know, if you're here because you like makeup, then I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Correction stay naked crushing correcting concealer good lord um in the color 10 cp which is the lightest color i think you can get and then i'm using uh the marcel sheer tint moisturizer in cream beige creme beige which is the lightest color you can get <laughs> first question in the about me tag is what is your job um i am a federal public servant i work for the government of canada which you probably could have guessed since i live in ottawa and I'm not really going to tell you anything else about that, because I can't, really. Um, other than I like working um, to help people. So, there you go. I've had lots of jobs in my lifetime. I did the math the other day, I think I've had like 35 jobs, and I'm not even 35. <laughs> so, um, I've had a lot of jobs in my lifetime. I've had a lot of jobs in the public service. Um, I moved around a lot, which a lot of people do. That's quite normal. And the second question is, what is your favorite social media channel? And um, these days, I hate all of them, but yet I'm on all of them. Um, I actually don't have Facebook anymore. I got rid of Facebook because uh, I needed one less thing to check, you know? I was just so sick of looking at the news and people, and like, it was just, I spent all day on my phone and I was like, I want one less thing to check. I guess these days, my favorite social media is Twitter. Um, but that's only because I get a lot of information from there, not because I actually get any pleasure from it. Uh, <laughs> that sounds really sad. Um, I also, I mean, I say this every year with my friends that my favorite social media is Goodreads. But Goodreads is like, the more I'm using it, the more I re like, I've used it a lot for many, many years. Um, but the platform is so garbage. Why is it so bad? It has no reason to be as bad as it is. So I'd love for them to make it better. Um, but I've started using this new platform called the Storygraph. It's in beta mode, so, you know, it's not perfected or anything yet. It's brand new, but I think it's owned, if I'm not mistaken, by a black woman. It has the potential to be much better than, um, than Goodreads. So <laughs> my a couple friends and I have been using it and kind of playing with it. So I also like that. But I mean, I don't know if those count as social media, but who cares? I'm going to prime my eyes with um, Painterly paint really paint pot everyone knows a paint really paint pot I don't have another primer so we're gonna use this also it's the same color as my skin question three is if you had another channel what would it be about that is a great question um I don't know uh what would it be about maybe maybe like baking or like me trying recipes um like complicated recipes to see how I could how well I could do them um I don't know. At one point in my life, I would have said makeup. I used to work in makeup. I worked in uh, at like at Shoppers as a cosmetic. What are they? Oh, I was called a beauty specialist, I think. Also, sorry, my camera's so rickety. It's on my table and <laughs> on the table. It rocks. I'm very sorry. Um, so 
probably not beauty now maybe like a tv review channel or something i like tv a lot i used to study I, as part of my master's i did some research like research on television and stuff so maybe i would be like like a tv critic um but like not a real like a like a bad tv critic um maybe that i don't know um i've never wanted to make a youtube channel about anything except books so i probably would not do anything else ever so for the base of this eye look oh no one of my shadows has fallen out oh no come on color pop get it together Okay, so I've zoomed you in a little bit for the eye look. This is frightening for me to see my face so large. Okay, so I'm going to use this um, ColourPop palette. What is this called? The Ooh La La. And also this just fell out and I had to put back in, so that's not fun. Um, so for this book cover, it's quite light actually, but I think I'm going to use um, this one or this one and just kind of sheer it out a little bit. Oh my gosh, you can see it, my reflection of my, see my... Doctor Who's cross stitch, thanks wheels. Um, so I think I'm gonna use one of those two and um, like shear it out a bit on my eye to try to get the right color. Let's see, I don't know if I have any other pink though. The only other pink I have is this pink, uh, which is from Inglot, but it has like shimmer in it. I don't wanna use it. I also think it's too light, so um, okay. Let's just, that's been fun. Let's use a big fluffy brush. Okay, question number four is do you play any instruments? And yes. Yes, I do. Um, I grew up uh, in the Salvation Army, which is um, a evangelical church. And if you don't know the Salvation Army, what they're quite known for is brass music. So I played in the brass band um, and my father did and my sister did and my mother is a singer and my entire family was very, very musical. So I um, grew up playing cornet, which is what is a smushed trumpet, if you don't know. Um, I played that. Um, I played trombone. That's how I started out playing music was on trombone. Wow, this is very, very pink. Um, I took piano lessons for 14 years and I cannot play uh, basically anything on the piano uh, because I never took it seriously. I always fooled around, but my sister is an incredibly talented piano player. Um, and what else do I play? Oh, I sang. I, I sang a lot. I was in... Um, I was in a, a lot of choirs. Uh, I was in the Newfoundland Symphony Youth Choir for a couple of years when we were one of the best youth choirs in the world at the time, not to brag, but that was really fun. I loved that actually. And uh, yeah, I, I was in, I, did a lot of, I do a lot of uh, music, or I did, I don't really anymore, but I did many moons ago. I'm gonna bring in a bit of this, a different shade of pink just to, why not? Blending has never been my strong suit. This looks full on bonkers at the moment. I'm gonna try to do some of the green and yellow on one eye and the blue and the, and the orange on the other eye. <laughs> so let's see how that works. I don't really have yellow, I have gold. So we'll see how that works. I don't really have a bright green. I have this, I have this green, um, which is a, one of those L'Oreal, what are they called? The Infallible Press Shadows. I actually love these. So it's the only one I have. That I do have these greens, but they're not really like the right, well, like they're a bit too minty, so I'm not gonna use these, I don't think. Um, but I do have this palette, which I love. Um, I guess I could, well, no, these are all too blue. Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna stick um, probably to this, to this green and to this gold from this NYX palette. I think it will fade from gold to green on this eye, and then I will do blue to orange on this eye. Question number five is, what hobbies do you have other than reading? Um, none? I actually don't know if I have any hobbies other than reading. Um, maybe my friends could tell you. Uh, I see my friends a lot. <laughs> Does that count as a hobby? I don't know. Um, can you even see that this, this is like not showing up at all? I mean, it's a NYX. It's not a super great shadow, but whatever. It's probably cliche to be like, oh, I love to travel, but I do like to travel. Um, of obviously, that's not happening. Um, I haven't traveled very much, honestly. I spent a lot of my life in um, school <laughs> and um, traveling kind of around this country for school. So uh, I didn't really have a lot of uh, time or money to travel really until in the past three or four years. So, um, I've been to Europe mostly, and I've, I mean, I went, I've been to the States a couple times, but 
I'm not going back there anytime soon. One of my favorite stories is a friend of mine started a new job and uh, the woman who was working with her was a bit, shall we say, not super socially aware. And my friend uh, was just kind of just starting on the job and the woman looked at her and said, how many hobbies do you have? Not what are your hobbies, but how many hobbies do you have? She didn't want to know what they were. She wanted a, <laughs> a enumerated list. Um, so I don't know what I could answer if someone asked me how many hobbies do I have or like even what are my hobbies. This is this is not going to be bright enough, I don't think. We're going to have to use the mint green, I think, guys. Um, I write a little bit. Um, not as much now as I used to um, because, quite honestly, for the past year, I mean, before all this pandemic broke out, um, I... I worked a lot. I was always working. Um, not by choice. I am not someone who likes to be a workaholic. Um, I just kind of ended up in these jobs that were, ooh, I like that. Um, that took a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, one of the things I actually am grateful for this pandemic is that I've, um, not had to work as much. <laughs> uh, because my unlike some other government departments uh, who've had to work a lot. Um, a lot of my work has slowed down because of the shift in focus. So that has been an, uh, a blessing in disguise. Okay, I'm just gonna blend. For what reason? Who knows? Maybe I'll take uh, some of this shiny stuff. I'm using, I'm using the uh, Naked Reloaded palette. Um, I bought this recently, I saw it on sale and I was like, oh, I need it. And look how gorgeous it is. Where's my cat? Penny. I also really like cooking. Um, and baking. Um, I like being in the kitchen. It's been hard, of course, in the summer when it's been 40 degrees and I don't want to bake. <laughs> Who wants to bake when it's 40 degrees? Not a soul. Or if you do, um, I can't relate because when it's 40 degrees, I like to sit on my couch with a freezy, you know. I, th I don't hate this. <laughs> I will say, this is not what I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. Now we're going to do orange and blue on this eye. I have these two oranges. Which one will I use? This is more red. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably too red. But this has no color payoff. Oh, all right. We'll probably use that. Yes, favorite TV shows. Ooh, pink brush. You know what? That's okay. We're blending into the pink anyway. Um, my favorite TV shows. That's a great question because I love television. Um, and you know I like television because I call it television and not TV. Um, I have been doing a lot of re-watching uh, during a pandemic, of course, who hasn't been really, I mean, lots of new stuff too, but, um, I just finished re-watching Downton Abbey, and honestly, <laughs> most predictable thing I could have possibly said, but I love that show. It's ridiculous, of course it's ridiculous, but, like, we don't watch it for reality. That's, like, not what that show was for. Um, so I love Downton Abbey. Um, I think my favorite TV show ever is Community. Um, I have watched that show, I don't know how many times I've watched that series through, hundreds like it's basically constantly on repeat if i just want to have something on it's community in the back if i'm not watching it it's community um i have seen that show so many times um my favorite episode is, is season three episode 11 regional holiday music i also love the episode i can't remember what it's called but it's the episode with all the flashbacks the fake flashbacks that's another, another great episode i also think sherlock the the bbc sherlock is one of the greatest shows ever made um I did like research on that in my masters because I just loved it so much. And I also love Benedict Cumberbatch. Obviously, my cat is called Benedict Cumbercat. So there you go. Real commitment. This is blending out. I don't know if you can tell, but it's blending out so nicely. <laughs> well done, NYX. Other TV shows that I love. I just love television. I think I'm going to use this blue here um, as my blue. One of my go-to TV shows, um, like for years, was House. Um, my family and I watched it, uh, like religiously. Woo! She's blue. Um, every Tuesday, whenever it came on, me and friends come over and watch it with us. We like had like a whole thing. Um, we loved it. <laughs> so I love the show House, and that's um, although I haven't watched it again in a while. Um, current new shows that I have found that I've loved. Um, I like The Good Doctor a lot. I like that it's focused on surgeons, but also like it's um, like not as bananas as Grey's Anatomy, which I have of course watched all of and think is totally bonkers, but yet still love it. Probably my last favorite, favorite TV show is uh, Doctor Who. I have a Doctor Who tattoo, which I will not show you today, but 
maybe someday you'll see it. I didn't love it after Peter Capaldi. Um, I felt like, I mean, I think many of us felt the same, that it just kind of wasn't the same after Stephen Moffat kind of took the reins wholeheartedly. I think season four with Dr. Donna, I think that that story arc of season four is one of the best story arcs of television ever. Also, don't tell the beauty gurus, but I literally just do this with my brows. I don't do anything else with them because I don't want to spend nine hours on my brows. I just want to like put this on and go. So sorry, gurus. I spent forever on question six. Um, question seven. Question number seven is what got you into reading? I'm actually just going to use this lipstick. This is the Maybelline um, Wickedly White bold uh, lipstick. And I'm just going to use this um, to do my eyeliner because I never use this as a lipstick. So and yeah, maybe I shouldn't use it in my eyes, but I'm gonna wash it off as soon as this video's over. So it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, question number seven, what got you into reading? Um, well, I remember I didn't know how to read until I went to kindergarten. And I vividly recall my kindergarten teacher who I loved, Mrs. Metis was her name. Um, I loved kindergarten <laughs> and I loved, I loved school. I mean, I think that's probably not surprising. Um, I remember like taking home those baggy books and stuff. And I remember I learned to read. I knew, I knew my letters before I went to school, um, but I didn't know how to read. And I, oh, I'm doing a terrible job of this. But I remember like once I started to learn to read, I learned very like quickly. So by the end of the year of kindergarten, I was reading novels, like chapter books, not like adult novels, obviously, but like children's chapter books. And I wish I could remember the first book I read because um, I remember it was like a chapter book that she gave me. It was about birds and it was like about like a Australian bird or something. And I wish I could remember what it was called because uh, I would like to have a copy of like the first chapter book I ever read. <laughs> but that was it. Like as soon as I could learn, I was off to the races and I loved it. And I read um, voraciously, constantly. Uh, you know, I would read just all the time and I loved it and I um read I would write books and I would read books and yeah it was like from the very get-go uh I loved it another thing is a very close family friend of ours uh she taught um like she tutored this is not turning out how I wanted to turn it up that's okay she tutored um like students who needed help with writing like in elementary school and she would bring over like um children's books for us that were that she had left over kind of thing or that she didn't need anymore and so many of my favorite books she brought over and, and I read because of her just things that um, I wouldn't have otherwise got my hands on um, just because we weren't reading in school and um, my parents weren't uh, kindergarten teachers and didn't know like like the books to recommend to kids the two I remember very vividly were um, sideways stories from wayside school by is it Lewis shake saker Sacker? I can't remember, um, but I'll put a cover if I can find one um, on the screen. And um, I thought that was the funniest book I had ever read. And I read that book till it fell apart. I brought it to school. I read it with like to my to my classmates. My sister and I read it. We loved it. The other one that um, probably was probably more influential for me was um, Little Town on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. So I didn't know that that existed because again, like I probably only in grade three or something, maybe um, grade, grade three, grade four. I read that copy of that book till the spine literally fell apart. The cover fell off. Um, I read it so, so often. I was obsessed with that kind of pioneer's life, you know? And um, when I found out it was a series, I of course bought the whole set um, from Scholastic. It was the best uh, gift my parents ever gave me because I still have that set and I read it again. I read every single book in that series multiple, multiple times. I was constantly reading them and uh, I read them still to my adult and I loved them. I think that really was a big part of my shaping my reading. Lots of people say, oh, I stopped reading when I um, went to university because I didn't have time. And I read less in university, but I never stopped reading. Um, I read more now than I ever did, um, primarily because I've started to actually prioritize it um, more than I ever did. But in university, I still would read for pleasure, even though I was doing an English degree. Um, and sometimes um, I think I re even read more because I was reading books I would never have picked and I didn't really enjoy um, stuff like 
Wuthering Heights and, and like 19th century stuff, which I wouldn't probably pick very often to read now for fun. I wouldn't have read then for fun. Um, I did read some books that I loved, of course, in my, in my degree, but um, definitely I was much more of a... I was doing things I, that I had to read, like, you know, Chaucer and stuff like that. I would never read for fun. Like, never. Still to this day, I will never pick up Chaucer for a good laugh. And I would still, like, on weekends, I would um, take, a, like, a full Saturday and I would just lie in bed and I would finish a book um, because I needed to, like, read something that I enjoyed. So I still still did that when I was in university. See, I've never really stopped loving reading, I guess. <laughs> I've zoomed out a little bit. Um, we're done the eyes, sort of. Um, I guess I'll put mascara on, but no one needs to watch me do that. Question number eight is what is your favorite and least favorite genre? My favorite genre is probably literary fiction, although I heard someone say that's not a genre the other day and I was like, well, what is a genre? So here we go. Um, I like I like books that are like eligible for prizes, basically, the kind of books I like to read. Even more over the past couple of years, I've really gotten into um, nonfiction, and particularly like historical nonfiction. I like to read micro histories a lot, and I also really like narrative journalism. So those are kind of my two favorite nonfiction genres. I also like a good um, like a comedy memoir, you know, uh, more so than like a trauma memoir. I much prefer a comedy memoir because um, I'm just kind of over trauma porn, you know. Um, let's, let's just dry off this mascara so it doesn't smudge. My least favorite genre is probably trauma porn. <laughs> and um, I don't like horror because I'm, I don't like being scared. I really am uh, a huge scaredy cat. So that's my least favorite genre for sure. I also am just, this is not because there's anything wrong with the genre, but because it's me. I don't love romance and it's not necessarily because I think the writing is bad or because um I'm just using Laguna everyone has Laguna um yeah it's not because the writing is bad or because I don't like respect the genre I wish I liked it honestly because everything I read is sad and I wish I could read something that wasn't sad um but I think it's because I I just have a hard time with love stories and that's like I have a hard time uh believing them I guess or like just suspending my disbelief enough so I wish I liked love stories. I just don't. I had this holiday I bought when I was in Germany and I have no idea what brand it is, um, but I thought because it was rainbow, I could use it to go with this cover. Question number nine is what books define your childhood? I already told you that some of them, um, but definitely uh, the Little House on the Prairie series for sure. Um, also Harry Potter, but we won't dwell at the moment on Harry Potter. Um, definitely books by Kit Pearson. The Guess of War trilogy really was one of the first um, books that I fell madly in love with and read repeatedly. And when I did my half masters <laughs> in children's literature, I applied using uh, like with research on the Guess of War trilogy. So um, yeah, big, big fan of those books. They are a very important part of my life. Um, also, I mean, anything by Kit Pearson generally. Um, and then uh, anything by Jean Little. Um, I'm trying to think of other really important childhood books. Purple, Purple, Green, and Yellow by Robert Munch. Oh my gosh, that book. We thought that book was the funniest book. We get my dad to read it to us every night because we thought it was so, so funny. Um, I'm just using the MAC blush in Full of Joy. I love this blush. I don't know where people compliment me on it. Um, so I love this blush. It's kind of it, I guess. Um, let me put on some lipstick quickly. Should I put, I have, um, I thought I would use orange. I have... Coral Attic from Milani, or, which it looks like this, I should show you, or I have Mangrove from MAC, which I think I'm going to use a Coral Addict because um, I'm feeling quite summery. Question number 10, which I can't say as I'm putting lipstick on. Question number 10 is tell us an interesting fact about yourself. Some of you may know that I have a twin sister. What you may not know is that there are a lot of twins in my family. My mother has a twin brother. Um, I have first cousins who are twins and my first cousin 
has twins and my sister has twins. Um, there are five sets of twins in three generations in my family. All of them are boy and girl twins except me and my sister so we're special um, but we're all fraternal and so it's obviously some kind of um, like genetic mutation <laughs> where we have lo lots of twins but yeah we love having lots of twins in our family. Um, it's a fun fact to like throw out our parties and stuff. Um, also maybe people get scared <laughs> but um, yeah we love having lots of twins in our family. This is the book look guys. Uh, I'll take my glasses off so you can see. Actually, no wait, it's not complete. Hold on. Now it's complete. Thank you for watching. This was really fun for me to do uh, to go through some makeup and just have some fun. And now I'm going to take it off because um, I'm very warm and sweaty and I don't wear makeup when it's this hot. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.